Illyrio here with a running video. Um, last year I did some uh, video logs blogging about uh, my training for a half marathon and uh, I'm going to do a couple of videos this year definitely uh, relating to the training for my full marathon happening in May. Uh, so I've been running pretty regularly uh, this year so far. I've had to take about a week off. Uh, today, Saturday, the 21st of February. Took a week off my run last Saturday, tweaked my knee a bit. And instead of trying it out, I figured, you know what, let's learn from the past and just not run for a few days. So, been missing a couple of my uh, scheduled training runs, but I figured better safe than sorry. So, I'm going to do a, my, what, a moderate run. I'm going to go for about 10K on the treadmill uh, in the basement here. And I figured since I'm going to be on the treadmill, I'm going to have to use my shoe pod and my... GPS watch. Uh, we'll be turning off GPS and linking the shoe pod to the watch somehow. That, that works. I've done that before. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to use the Nike Plus running app on my phone and set it to treadmill mode and strap that to my arm as I listen to some uh, Feast for Crows. And uh, I'll compare the distance uh, measured on the watch via the shoe pod, measured on the phone via whatever I guess it uses the accelerometer. Uh, and also what my treadmill says. So I'm going to have three data points for distance. Um, and when it comes to step counting, I have my Fitbit Flex, and I'm going to be using the steps uh, recorded in the Health app uh, on my iPhone 6. So I'm going to have two data sets for the steps, and I'll be able to compare those. So uh, once my run is done, I'll be back, and uh, we'll take a look at what uh, these things say. All right. See you soon. So the run is over. Uh, it was a good 10K, or was it? The Nike Plus running app thought I was done by 10K in 56 minutes and 24 seconds. My watch synced up with the uh, shoe pod tells me that my 10K took me an hour and eight minutes. 108, is it a coincidence? And my treadmill thought I still had about a kilometer and a half to go. So all of these things point to the same thing. It's very difficult to measure distance traveled on a treadmill. One would assume that I should go by the treadmill distance and keep going. Having been running for as long as I have, as consistently as I have, using GPS to track my, my, my pace and my distance, I know that I was moving my feet at a pace that was slightly above my actual average. Um, and I would venture to say that my, um, my watch and my phone were closer than the treadmill was, just based on how quick my feet were moving. This, but if the treadmill knows how long the, the actual tread is and how quickly it's turning, doesn't it have the most accurate distance? Well, it would have the most accurate measurement of how far the tread is moved, but how your feet move on top of that might actually differ from that. So it's not an exact... Uh, setting at all. Um, yeah, so as far as distance goes, um, what I can do with my Nike Plus running app results is I can um, finalize the actual run um, and I can go into an edit screen and calibrate so that it would then know uh, what the actual distance was. Now, were I to want to calibrate this run on the iPhone app, I should have not paused the run at 10 kilometers. I should have let it go until I felt I had gone 10 kilometers. At that point, um, I would then be able to edit the run to bring it down to 10 kilometers from whatever it thought I had done over. So I'm not actually going to be recording this run with my iPhone app. I'm most likely going to be recording this run. I'm going to be recording this run with my watch info. Um, has been quite consistent with pace measurements uh, whenever I've been on the treadmill. Uh, and I'm going to continue to use the watch as such. I might do a little research to see if I can maybe calibrate the treadmill in and of itself. Uh, see if maybe there's some uh, shoe pod calibration techniques as well. Uh, but uh, as far as that is concerned, that is that. Now, step measurement. My Fitbit Flex, uh, which earlier was at 2,000-something steps, is now at almost 13,000 steps. And my uh, iOS Health app, whereby it told me that my steps were somewhere near... 1200 before my run uh, is about to tell me that I'm at uh, I'm at about 11,500 steps on that one. So um, interesting, interesting. Um, 
I had my phone on my arm rather than in my pocket, so maybe that made a bit of a difference. Either way, quite an interesting result. Uh, knee feels great. Don't, I'm not worried about going out again uh, outside or inside for my training runs, so hopefully that'll be consistent from now on. Thanks for watching. Um, we'll most likely have a lot more running videos coming up uh, very soon. Uh, this marathon training stuff is a little bit daunting, and I'm really, really excited about it. So uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and share and enjoy. Bye-bye.